and easy. Oh, welcome back to another Jigs Reviews. What we'll be reviewing is in here. This is a cocktail-ish. I mixed it with Coke. Is that a cocktail? Well, if it's mixed as a cocktail then, surely. Anyway, got my first game of football in over, it's got to be 10 years, I think, tomorrow. So I'm just prepping the legs, bit of an ice bath. Secret to these is just get in, just jump in. You'll be fine. I can't feel my fingers anymore. I lie, they're, they're, they're numb. It is cold as, it's fine, just get in, you'll be good. Anyway, I'm gonna chill in here for 15 minutes. Then I shall go and see you back in there and we're gonna review some whiskey in a bit. <laughs> So, obviously you saw the intro of the video, I was out in the pool, but that was like a week ago now. I didn't get time to get around and finish the uh, video that day, and ended up going on holiday, and yeah. But, good news on the football, I lasted 90 minutes, uh, my lungs were shot, but um, yeah, no, I managed to last 90 minutes, so I'd be signing on and playing the scene, so it's good, good to get back and have a game of football. Um, me and one of my bugle boys, uh, who's actually the captain there, Elwood was playing. Um, so yeah, we're bossing it in the centre midfield. So yeah, good days. And the holiday was good as well. And blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, hear me, hear me talk about all this stuff. You want to hear me talk about a drink. That's what you're here for. Um, a couple of voice sounds a bit funny. I'm just getting over COVID again. Second time. Um, I was literally ill for a couple of days, but like, not like, uh, just a bit. Mm. So yeah, anyway, right. This is what we're talking about. Daddy Rack. So, um, I actually got this as a Father's Day gift for all the girls. Um, obviously very fitting, Daddy Rack. But um, I hadn't, well, I thought I hadn't seen it before, but um, it turned out I've actually watched a video on the, um, the Whiskey Vault guys, um, Dan and Rex, they actually have done a video on it. I think it was them. Um, so I went back and had a look and uh, yes, it was on there. So, right. So this is, so Father's Day present, lovely, thank you. Uh, Danny Rack, Tennessee Straight Whiskey. Handcrafted in small batches with sourced high-grade corn from local farmers, distilled and aged three years in lightly toasted and charred barrels, then finally double mellowed for a pure, smooth and complex finish. It is 40% alcohol, as you can see, I've already had a little bit of this already. Um, I cracked it open on the day and I've had a bit more since. So yeah, all, sort of, blah, blah, blah. all corn sourced from local farmers, Columbia, Tennessee, 80% level one corn, 10% rye, and 10% malted barley. Um, I like the bottle. It's a cool little bottle, like a little design on there. Um, that is the actual guy. Um, I did go on the website, and that is the guy who's in charge of Daddy Rack. I could tell you what his name is. Maybe his name's something Rack. I'm gonna cough now. <coughs> ah, uh, the Rona. get this little party started. Luckily both times I've had the Rona, I have not had any issues with my smell or taste. You guys who watch my videos may beg to differ when you hear what I say about things, but there you go. So yeah, not expecting too much. It's, it's, it's fairly, it's a fairly thickish legs in it to be fair. Since it's only 40%, yeah, some, Medium speed, they're not like flowing down super quick these tears, but but like I said, I've already had some of this before already, so I know what it tastes like. I'm just going to go over it again. Um, you know, the bottles change anyway sometimes. It's been open a few times, get to the middle, it does taste a bit different. So uh, let's see how it fares today. Now, I said this when I when I to myself, no one else, but uh, I said to myself when I actually opened it and tried this that this smells so much to me like Woodford Reserve double oat. Um, obviously the alcohol percentage is a bit low. I think that was, I'm not sure if it's 40, somewhere between the 46 and the 52 mark, depending on what, 
some of the bottles are different, but um, so this is a bit lower, but on the nose it is so similar. Getting that apple crumble, lovely golden syrup and so sweet, the brown, brown sugar. The slight undertone of um, like a licorice undertone as well. Sort of licorice or I'll probably say licorice over and seed actually, but a bit of biscoff as well, I think. That's something that's been put in effort now, don't But a few years ago, if it had sort of camera all over it, but now everything's got biscoff in it. But yeah, there's a bit of a. I think that's probably why you, you nose these things, because you're so used to smelling other things, it does become quite familiar to you, so you do pick up in other things. But yeah, it's lovely and sweet. Hardly any burn at all. I mean, it's only 40%, so I wasn't expecting a lot, but... Yeah. It has got a lovely smell, but yeah. I'm, I do get that appleness, which also I get from... Um, what else was really apple -y? That um, bullet rye, bullet bourbon rye, that was very... Um, that's very apple heavy as well. Yeah, I'll just take it in the mouth. The corn comes through quite strong in the mouth. The first thing that comes to my mind on the palate is corn. It's not actually that. Yeah, eight percent level one corn. So yeah, mm. getting that butterscotch now coming through. It, it is very, it is very wood reserve double oaked to me, which is brilliant because that's one of my favourite bourbons. So. Um, I'm not complaining about that at all. As far as I'm aware, um, this was brought from Waitrose, I think. I think it was from Waitrose. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if you've got Waitrose in the US, but then again, this is an American whiskey, so I'm sure you'll be able to, you'll be able to get it over there anyway. Mm. It is really nice. I wouldn't want to put any ice or anything in it. It's definitely something to drink straight because I think it's going to take away from it. Because it's not overly thick. It is quite, it is quite washy, but the flavours are still there. It ain't thick. Is some there is quite a few flavours running through that actually. Apart from the fruit pies that I was getting, I'm getting a bit of a banana as well. But I'm getting that apple. It's very caramel. Very um. Very sweet syrups. Them um. Them out. Oh god! I said this before in a video. Um, if you go to uh, Pizza Express and you get the the mini dessert with the coffee, they do the um, ah, something co covered in some sauce. Christ Almighty! I hate when I can't remember things. Um, but yeah, that. What bloody fruit is it? Figs. Little figs. Little figs covered in caramel, sort of butterscotchy sauce. Mm, delicious. I'm getting that. It is a real easy drinker. Hardly any burn. I'm sure you could drink quite a bit and get yourself in trouble if you're not careful. Mm. Get a real buttery finish on that now. Yeah, like warm butter on toast. Mm. Warm butter on cinnamon toast, I should say. I think that's more fitting. But yeah, lovely. 
Again, thank you for watching. Mm. <sighs> Delish. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment uh, if you've. What do you think of some Danny Rack if you tried it? Tennessee Straight Whiskey. Uh, also, merch. Uh, this is from my other channel, which I've hardly been living on recently, but um, the t shirt's cool still. But yeah, all the links are on the website and all that sort of stuff, whatever. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the next Cheetah Reviews. See you later.